good morning from the Catskills. I slept well, apart from some strange loud noises way off in the distance. It was pretty foggy first thing, but it burned off before too long. I absolutely love these fast flowing gravel roads that wind their way through the forest. There is a large amount of state forest and wilderness area around here, which makes these little roads feel very uninhabited, especially given their proximity to New York City. When you emerge from the forest, there are often beautiful farmsteads. I turned off of the route to check out Alder Lake for a possible future campsite. Unfortunately, it is hiking only, which isn't ideal for moto camping, but there are the ruins of the Kirkendall Lodge. It was built in 1899 by business magnate Samuel D. Kirkendall, but all that is left are some stone walls and columns, and the view of Alder Lake, which he built. I refilled my water at an artesian well and was on my way again. Cross Mountain Road is another good example of a lovely forest road in the Catskills. And this cliffside section is really cool. I stopped for a quick look at the old rail depot in Fleischmann's. Hi, Piggy. Hi, guys. Hey, Piggy. Go back to your home. Hey, Piggy. This is the start of the first section on the route with an easier bypass. The sign says, Stop. Auto's not allowed on trail. You will get stuck. That makes me think this has happened more than a few times. This hill is steeper and looser than any of the roads up to this point. I very nearly dropped it here when I put it in neutral instead of first. Thank goodness for long legs. ABS light just came on here, but only because it was grumpy that the rear wheel was moving faster than the front for so long. It was happy after turning the bike off and on again. Made it. After a coffee and a cookie, I begin the long steep descent of Vly Mountain. The cameras never do a great job showing how steep something feels in real life.
it's quite steep. Glad I'm going down this. Holy shit. I was convinced that that rectangle up ahead was a couch that somebody left here. But on closer inspection, it's just a perfectly rectangular boulder. Here, I felt the bike was getting away from me a little bit, so I stopped when I saw a good patch of dirt. It only took about 8 minutes to go the 1.4 miles down the mountain, but it was hard work. The trail descended 1,200 feet from the top. This is Burnt Rossman Hill State Forest, and goldenrod is everywhere here. The leaves on the trees are just starting to show signs of fall. Ahead is Blenheim Covered Bridge. It was built in 1855 and stood until it was destroyed by flooding from Hurricane Irene in 2011. In 2017, it was rebuilt, exactly reproducing the design of the original. The no through traffic sign is a good hint that there is a fun dirt road ahead. The bridge has two separate lanes with a truss structure in between. The bridge only goes halfway across the river now, so it only sees pedestrian use. Here's that fun dirt road the sign was warning us about. This track through Bates State Forest is getting a little bit overgrown. The open field provided a nice view of the mountain that I would soon be climbing. This 
road climbs up the side of South Mountain. absolutely love little dirt roads that follow alongside creeks. This is Main Street in Catskill, New York. I had a great lunch at a German beer garden back in Hunter. There was a spectacular bit of twisty pavement in the way here, but it was completely full of cars and RVs, so I didn't bother to turn the camera on. I am about to cross the Hudson River on the Rip Van Winkle Bridge. The river is still tidal here, even though we are over a hundred miles away from New York City. Always keep to the right side of the road. You never know what might be around the corner. back into Massachusetts. On the left is York Lake and Sandusfield State Forest. Western Massachusetts has a surprising amount of fun gravel roads. I knew some rain was coming overnight as well as in the afternoon the next day, so I got a hotel in Lee to get an early start in the morning.
I had some delicious Indian food in the hotel restaurant on this lake. I rode 236 miles today and got through the rest of section 2 and about half of section 3. If you're still here, thanks for coming along.